A special celebration tonight for a woman on Long Island celebrating her 100th birthday. This World War II veteran not only served her country, but worked in a hospital too. Tonight, they honored her in grand fashion with a drive-by parade that she'll never forget. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Safan Kim. At most parades, they line the streets to watch the floats and fire trucks pass by. But like so many things during this pandemic, things are upside down, inside out, flipped in reverse. Thank you for your service. At this parade, the police officers and bikers and neighbors are here to see the parade goer, one very specific parade goer. Well, I think they all love me, so they must have come out because I didn't send invitations, that's for sure. 100 years young today, a lifetime full of service. The Beth Page woman was a first lieutenant in the Army, a nurse who served in World War II. Born in Pennsylvania, she then started over in New York City after the war, and that's where she met her husband. How did you meet Dad? Oh, uh, just uh, flirting with him. <laughs> she worked at Central General Hospital at, at night, and during the day, she took care of me because yeah. I needed to be taken care of wow. <laughs> yes. and watched over and made uh, so that I wasn't getting in trouble. <laughs> and uh, after that, she also beca she became a school nurse oh, wow. in Elwood. Right. So the former Plainview Hospital nurse got a visit from current staff at the hospital. Heroes thanking heroes, veterans saluting veterans. You've and done well, Mama. Thank you, John. So how does a centenarian top this for next year's birthday? I don't think I may see it. I hope I do, but I don't know. I never dreamed I'd go to 100, though. Something tells us we'll be back here again next year. In Beth Page, Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. She'll be back there next year. Happy birthday.